Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, tomorrow's the 7th, but you know the timing is fluid, so 7th, 8th, something like that, could be at any time, could be the, the, the uh, what is it, the 10th, the 12th, the 8th, whatever. What do we got for a message today? Ooh, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is uh, a loving, warm, tender, sensitive individual. This could be a psychic or a healer. This is a nurse or a counselor. This is uh, somebody that is very sweet, perhaps, that is offering something emotional, some sort of emotional support. This is a caregiver, a counselor, or a healer, or something like that. This person is kind and gentle, and she is going to play a very big part in your life in the next couple of days. So whoever this person is, this person, I feel like it's a nurse. It doesn't have to be a nurse or a counselor. Um, could be a mother. This is somebody that is emotionally supportive. Somebody that is listens, listens very well. Somebody that, um, this person may be, may give you a shoulder to cry on. This person is very empathic, um, very intuitive. She is giving love. Okay, because that is a cup of love. She's got the Ace of Cups in her hands. And she's, it's like, I love you. This, and that equals the Ten of Cups. Nine to the, okay, so something to do with happiness, abundance. But this person is, has plenty. Okay, this person has plenty. This person could be a little bit selfish, egotistical, is a show-off. We have a show-off here. This person is a show-off. Wow. Now, the Ace of Wands is an exciting new opportunity. There's some, this is like an instant, there could be an instant connection or an instant attraction here it's like we have a we have somebody here that is is looking for love this person is looking for love it is a female a feminine that is looking for love this person seems to have everything they need but there could be an instant attraction and this person may be just looking for sex i'm just saying it doesn't have to it could be i mean this is a very uh, you know, sexual energy right here. Oh my God. Carrying a heavy load. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, yeah. So just anyhow, let me just, uh, okay. This woman is looking for commitment. This this person is looking for a partnership. You know, waiting. Waiting for her dream come true. She's been wishing. Wishing for a partner. Wishing for happiness. Wishing, hoping to get married perhaps. Hoping for, ha hoping for happiness. So we have a feminine here that has been hoping and wishing, wishing for happily ever after. Okay? So, you know, that's what... Feminine, hoping and wishing for happily ever after. So that's what that person has been wishing for. Hope, and it's like, I got a lot of love to offer. This person is arrogant, though. This person has a lot of love to offer, is ready and waiting and wishing and has been praying. Okay? This person, you know, is very, well, this is abundance. This person is well off. Okay? They're well off. They are overwhelmed, though. They, they may be sexually frustrated. Okay. All right. That looks good, huh? Oh, yeah, there could be some regrets. Be careful. Don't jump. Don't leap because it looks good. Okay. 
because you could end up with some regrets. I don't know whose message this is for, but you'd better be careful because you could, you know, you're hoping and praying and wishing for happily ever after and you get come across somebody that has money because this person obviously has money. This person has money. They may, you know, they have plenty, put it that way. This person is very arrogant and they're show off, okay? This person um, has a lot of burdens and they have a lot of baggage and they may just want to, you know, show off. They may be showing off to this beautiful, big hearted woman, you know, you know, look at me. I look at me. I mean, they're a big show. Okay. This is a big show. And, you know, maybe they just want to get laid and maybe, and that maybe that's what you're looking for. And if that's fine, then it's fine. But we got somebody here that may not be happy with the outcome with this nine of swords. This looks like this is uh, depression, sadness, regrets, feeling bad, feeling guilty. Oh my God, this isn't, I mean, this person, whoever this person is, has so many, has so much baggage you know, and is very overworked. It, 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 this person um, has so many demands that, you know, they probably are not your dream come true. They probably are not going to give you the attention that you want, and you could end up regretting investing in this person. And this may have this may have already happened. Somebody may have given their heart to this egotistical person that looked really good. You know, and now they're overwhelmed and they're regretful for doing so. You know, on the outside it looked really good, but this person is arrogant. So it could be happening now or this may have happened. Um, holding on to a dead end. Uh, unable to release, unable to let go. Somebody wanted to have it all, right? They wanted it to look really good, but now they're overwhelmed interesting interesting so whether this is happening now or it's already happened we have somebody here that is holding on to something this is holding on is getting old this is a state of depression and sadness so in in and you know somebody may be feeling guilty for choosing looks choosing all those things you know over you know just to just to have fake happiness whatever um this is resisting change <clears throat> unable to release reluctant to move on and needing to transition these are both cards of transition but somebody is not transitioning and they're having a hard time they're having a hard time struggling we definitely have somebody here that is struggling they're struggling and they're struggling because of well I think materialistic reasons is big okay because this person has has it all this person has it all and leaving it behind will be hard and I think that that's one of the reasons why they haven't left because leaving is is imminent here with it is it is with the death and the six of swords reverse Somebody is in a stressful situation, a very stressful situation. They can't sleep. They're having, they're feeling guilty. They're, they're having a lot of regrets. I think they're having regrets perhaps for, they may even have regrets if they, maybe they married this person. They married this person for the goods, you know, for the assets, for whatever, because they were greedy, because they were selfish. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. I have not been smoking. So anyway, um, this is greedy and we, uh, what did I say? Greedy and selfish. This person is greedy and, well, they both are. Well, this person may have offered some sort of love. Somebody is greedy and selfish. I think they both are. I, honestly, I do. Reluctant to move on. Can't transition. Feeling like I, they're I, feeling bad. Feeling really, really bad. Fearful and sad. It's almost like they're feeling, they're feeling, they wish they, it's like they wish they never married this person. I think they're both feeling it. 
I do. I think this may have to do with a marriage that looked really good. It was very, very attractive in the beginning, but now it's too much. It's way, way, way too much. That's what I think this is. And we have somebody here that is reluctant let, to let go because all they really wanted was happily ever after. There is going to be an upcoming celebration if there hasn't been because that is here and that is around the corner. For some of you, there's going to be an upcoming celebration. Where somebody is going to be absolutely glowing. They're going to be shining very, very bright. And somebody is going to be attracted to them. So that's another message for somebody. There's somebody's going to go to a celebration. It could, it, whatever this is, there's going to be a lot of people there. It's, it could be, whatever this celebration is, it's, it's going to be, it's, there's going to be music. I think there's going to be some sort of music or there's going to be some sort of praise or there's going to be some sort of recognition. I feel like somebody is going to be really glowing. People, Somebody is going to be able to... It's like they're going to feel them. They're going to feel their energy. And somebody is going to be very attracted. So just, I don't know whose message that is for. We, we have somebody here that is, you know, seems to have it all. Okay? So I know I'm going all over the place. But this is for thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Somebody is going to have an instant attraction with somebody. They're going to meet this person at some sort of upcoming celebration. I don't think that this is going to be a dream come true. I don't think that it will last, okay? I think you're going to meet this person. There's going to be an instant attraction. You probably might, you know, whatever. And then it's over, okay? That's what I see. This person could be at a distance. They come and they go. All right, so that could, that's for somebody. And somebody could have regrets for engaging in this because they were looking for happily ever after. For another bit of you, I think we have somebody that is regretting getting married to somebody. This is regretting getting married, regretting, uh, you know, whatever. And now they want to release, they want to move on, but because of the assets, because of the things, because of what they have built together, they want to hold on to that. You know, they don't, they don't want to let that all go. They don't want to face the struggle of change. But I do feel like uh, in the next couple of days, we have somebody here that is probably going to follow their heart because of that Queen of Cups. That is about following your heart. Um, maybe they talk to a counselor or they talk to somebody that listens and that person gives them the advice, okay? Tells them, you know, you know, you need to follow your heart. You need to follow your heart. You deserve to be happy. Okay. So anyway, I feel like um, this is a new exciting opportunity to start fresh. But you have to let go of what you are holding on to. And I think that uh, somebody is probably going to choose to go after wish fulfillment. Okay, because this is wish fulfillment and this was wish fulfillment. But in order to go to wish fulfill, get to wish fulfillment, you got to let go of what is dead in your life. And somebody has been holding on to this dead end. They have reluctant to move on from it. They really have been holding on to this dead end. And it's like all I want is happily ever after. All I want is, you know, my soulmate. I want my soulmate connection. So I, I do feel as though... Um, We do have, this is a new opportunity here. There is a new opportunity. But I, it doesn't feel like it leads to anything long term. I think it's like instant gratification and that's it. Yeah, it's not long term. It's not. It doesn't lead to anything long term. It doesn't lead to marriage. It doesn't lead to what you, it's not your dream come true. Whether this has already happened or not. Now this is a split or a separation. So we do have a separation that is happening. Okay, somebody's been holding on to a partnership, you know, and, and maybe hoping that it would grow, hoping that the passion would come back, you know, but that's not going to happen. Okay, so I feel as though we have a separation here. Somebody has been reluctant to leave and it's really bothering them. It's bothering them a lot. 
a real lot to the point where they can't sleep. They they toss and turn all night. They feel guilty. They feel guilty for wanting to leave. But it's time to go. It is time to go. With the Six of Swords, even though it's reversed, it's time to go. It's time to leave this partnership behind that you have been holding on to. That lacks passion and I think that somebody maybe somebody does have feelings and they do have attraction for somebody else but they have to let go of the dead end first so that's another I mean that's what I see I do see a dead end here um there is a soulmate connection that somebody has been dreaming of and it's like this person is calling in their soulmate that's that's what I see Waiting, 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 waiting. If you are single and you have been waiting for your soulmate to show up, you may go to some sort of gathering in the near future where you run into this person. Okay? But I'm not sure that that is actually your soulmate. No. Does it look like it will end successfully? Okay? Maybe a lesson. Somebody may need to learn a lesson not to jump. Don't leap so fast. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure that you are positive before you get married. Somebody is feeling empty and dead inside because they're in a relationship or a commitment or a marriage that is not compatible and there's a lot of arguing and there's a lot of fighting. And it's not everything that they dreamed of. And perhaps they love somebody else. Because there could be some unfinished business from the past. So anyway, in the next couple of days I see a separation. This is a separation. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. In search for happily ever after. In search for happiness. Maybe, maybe, you know, they decide to love themselves because that is a, that self-love up there. I'm going to love myself and, and get prepared for real love. So, anyway, I do, do think that somebody is going to run into somebody and there's going to be an instant attraction and it leads to nothing but uh, problems, put it that way. My advice is to wait. Happiness is coming. It is coming. Whoever is coming in doesn't is is emotionally unavailable they don't they're not looking for a long-term relationship they're just looking to sweep you off your feet get you in bed and drop you if you are in a relationship now and this reading is for you this is a false relationship it's not love and i want something more So yeah, I do see a separation. Good luck.